I mean, definitely, uh, if you look at Pep's career, you know, when he first came to Barcelona, it was like three Champions Leagues in four years or something like that. Yeah. And and that was a dynastic team. And City are the defini- City are the definition of a dynastic team at the moment. And as you say, you know, what's to stop you guys from another season just like this next season? Except for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> but we need to improve the players. But you know, the funny thing is thinking about Pep when he took over Barcelona. He was the Barca, a uh, Barca B coach. So mm-hmm. he brought up everyone who got elevated to the senior team. He and was he got that team promoted too. His very first season with in this with the in the Tercera, he got them promoted. He did, up, and then up. you got to think Messi was super young. So he was really connected to the managing the young players. And so when he left, Messi may not have been kind of consensus the best player, but the talk was there. Oh, that was, that yeah, point, he was coming I, into it. I think sure. that was his fourth season, and they're like, Messi's the best player. And so I would say if, if he sees somebody inside of this, this city team that kind of fits the, this guy might be the next guy, I, I, I give him two more seasons if if they're able to pull pull off history, and then I think he I think he goes after two seasons, and, and it's not because of he wants to go. It's where do you go after that? There's there's nothing else after that. Yeah, I mean, you should go to the champion the championship side, get him promoted, and and then have him win the Premier League. Like, like at Barcelona, he left Barcelona at their peak. Yeah. They were yeah. still at their peak, and he left. He was like, hey, man, I need to take a vacation. And he lived in New York for a year. He literally yeah. they won the Champions League the next year, didn't they? Yeah. Well, you remember what he said, right? He's like, you can't you can't you can't survive at Barcelona. It's too crazy. Yeah. The, the the pressure is too much. The the atmosphere, the environment, the fans, the backroom staff, the president. It's all too crazy. And, and that and, and he had to That's take a year out. off. <laughs> <laughs> and and the story well, that's because he found out, that's because Pep found out they were buying refs. He's hey, like, oh, and man, the story that I sent you guys about Barcelona, just imagine being there and see. So yeah, yeah. so yeah, Seeing that firsthand. Yeah. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Well, so the question is, the true dynasty team of the Champions League coming to town. On Wednesday. Yes, they are. And we know that they're going to bring it. They're going to bring the kitchen sink. All the <laughs> pools, all the tricks. Everything they got. Benzema's going to be up for it. Does the fact that Holland got the goal on Sunday give him a little bit more of a boost? You know, he doesn't need confidence to score goals. Obviously, what's that? 52 now or something ridiculous. But... Having scored in the game previous to this big one, giving a little bit of a boost, wouldn't you say? No, I think it. I think it's. I think it's like. I think it's one of those. Um, it can hurt him more than it can help because when you're playing a defender that isn't on the caliber of Antonio Rudiger, and then you score on them easily, and then you play someone who is of an upper elite echelon of a defender, you know, it's like. I don't. I think Antonio Rudiger would be one of the top five defenders, probably the top three defenders in the Prem today. And Holland's just not coming up against teams that have that caliber of center back. And I don't know. It could hurt. Mina, or help was, Mina, Mina tried to kick him a little bit. He, he 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 was okay for a while. Yeah, but it's just you know. I think it's it goes to show. Like we've been kind of saying it all season. Like, are we the farmers? And our defenses across the league are just not what they used to be. And Holland picks them apart. We have goals. Could Holland run right. over Ruben Diaz? That probably, probably doesn't practice all the time. Saying, they play against each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I think it does give him a little confidence boost. I mean, it has to, you know, you're on a fire, you're on form. We always talk about pace and keeping form, but I just, I fear for him because I've been there. I've been like, oh, you know, I play left wing. Nobody can keep up with me until you find a right back. And he's like, oh, this one keeps up with me. And it just ruin. it. It just it can wreck your day. It can wreck your mental mindset because it's like, oh, I can't do what I normally do. I have to switch my game. And you get inside your own 
you know, you get out of that groove and out of that form when you come up against an opposition that directly meets it, like we saw in the first leg. And I want to see it again in the second leg. That's why I'm excited for Wednesday. Yeah. I'm excited yep. it's 1-1. There's everything to play for. It's going to be awesome. Well, I, I think one of the things, to answer your question, does it does it give them a boost? It gives the team a boost. And the reason I say that is because uh, – it's different if this was a if this was a final and they had never played Real Madrid, then you could go in a little blind. But the fact that he's already played against them and he knows they're going to be at home and he, he, he now he can kind of figure out, OK, this is what they did to me last time. And while he's not them, those guys now, the, the fact that Holland's game is more diverse, I think you're going to see more diversity from him in the game. I, I think you'll see him checking back in for the ball. I think what you're going to see, and we talked about this kind of off off, um, off the air, but De Bruyne is going to be so huge in this game. Because what you're going to see is, and they did this against, they did this against Bayern, where in the goal they scored in the, the leg at City, where you're going to see De Bruyne go in front of him. And you're going to, I promise you, you'll see more of that because they, the, the, the threat is you want Holland with the ball in the final third. So what do you need to do? You need to pull somebody away. If, so if you're saying Rudiger is going to follow him, cool. Yeah. De Bruyne will go right in there and <laughs> he'll finish. And, and if, if that's what you do, see, then, I would, then take the loss. I and would that's sacrifice. That's going to happen to them. I would and, sacrifice coming, coming vote and make him follow Kevin the whole game. And and Gundogan will ghost you, and, <laughs> and yeah. he'll get his goals. It's show show up for a goal, yeah. And, and so you look at that. I think going back, if you remember before the Real Madrid game, the first one, I said, "Hey, man, you know, he didn't want to take that penalty because his shooting boots weren't on." You could see it. Him getting that goal released everything because it wasn't uh, "I have to do something" goal. It was placement headed. I finish. I finish. Basically, it wasn't a sitter, but a sitter, right? And that—that's all you need. You just need to see the net bulge. If he had missed that penalty, he would have went into that game worse. Going into this game, you have the confidence of I just need to figure out my movement. Mm -hmm. Gundogan is on. De Bruyne didn't play at all, which is perfect because you see that's the formula now. Just give him a week off, let him play. Um, Stones didn't play. Everybody, everybody who needed to get rested got rested. And the ones who needed to just, hey, man, I just need to get a bite in. Grealish played. Bernardo came on. Five minutes. But, hey, let me just run around. Right? And you got the guys in there who needed to, to run around. And I think it works. Walker, you, you made him run up and down. He needed to stretch his legs. Um, Ake didn't, didn't, didn't even make the bench. So I, I, don't, I don't suspect he'll play. Even if he's healthy, I think he'll make the bench, but I don't think he'll play in the game unless it's really, really something they need him to play for. Does Mares get a shout? No. Because Riyad Mares, literally every time he's been asked to play, has been has been Shows up. He's been fantastic. No, no he doesn't still Silva. Here, here, here's why he doesn't play. He he doesn't play the other end of the field. He doesn't defend. And, and there's no way Madrid. you play Real Madrid and you and only and, and a guy doesn't defend. Yeah. There's no way. And, and they're gonna punish you. You can watch you watch Mares is wonderful. Fair but against teams that you have to defend against, you notice he doesn't play, right? That's fair. He's a great player. There's no question yeah. he's a great not a great player. But he doesn't play the other end of the, the, the pitch. So he I gives just left, see the left same back. Lunch. Uh, he gives left backs nightmares, that's for sure. What do you yeah. think, Patrick? Uh, you know, I agree with uh, with what um, uh, uh, Lewis said about Holland now just only really being focused on his movement, what he needs to do. You know, he's not pressing um, to score a goal because he just had one. Um, I did want to go back a little bit uh, and talk about how nonchalantly uh, Gundogan hit that uh, free kick for a goal <laughs> against Everton. <laughs> he just passed. He just went, you know, like training session. Yeah, it was training session. Um, and when you're playing with that kind of confidence, like man, you know, you you can't. Uh, you you 
it's it's sort of like the uh, the saying with um, baseball players when they're hitting well. It looks like a beach ball. Sure. You know, the ball looks like a beach ball, and I, I gotta think the net for him looks like it's an ocean. So you if know? you get that free kick against Madrid, is it De Bruyne or is it Gundo? I'm going to Gundogan there. It it depends. I, think I mean, it was close. So I mean, if it's a little bit further out, then yeah, I go De Bruyne. I mean, it was just a chip. He's a chip. Yeah. Guy. Just but I mean, you look at, yeah, exactly. But you look at that and you you watch other teams and players try to hit that and they always hit it over. And he just, I mean, lollipopped it. That's the best way to put it. Just lollipop. You know, the funny thing was because they, uh, uh, because Mares was eyeing it too. And it, it actually, the angle I, I think would have been better for Mares to take it. He would have hit the Tottenham fan in row C19 though. <laughs> now, well, now, now, I, I I agree. No, well, I, I 50%. He would have smashed it. It wouldn't have been. He a would have smashed it. Yeah. Right. He would have smashed it. But I, I think the angle was suited for a left footer. And, and but Gundogan is like, no, but that's the captain thing to do. And so and that's where when people tried to create that controversy about the penalty before of, well, you know, what would it? he's like? I got it. And he did it and he knew it. And now do do I think Courtois gets there? I think he does. I think Courtois gets to that. I think he reads it better. Mm, I don't think he gets there. And Courtois is like Courtois a lot feet tall, bigger. So yeah, I, Courtois a lot. I mean, he's a lot bigger, most cool. definitely. But I still don't. I, I just. I think the angle. I. I it just. It was like scary. I was I, when I watched it live. I was like, did he really just do that? Like, it looked like it was in slow motion, didn't it? It even looked like it was in slow motion. It, it was just. It was just perfect, but. Going back to this one, you know, I'm interested to see how City um, try to possess in this game. One thing that that Real Madrid just loves space, and that's the one thing that I've been noticing by watching them. They, there's always space. It doesn't matter. Now, when they played Chelsea at the bridge, there was lack of space, and it, it frustrated them for a little bit. Um does City come with that press to, to take away that 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 space? Um, but then they you know leave themselves open for you know somebody to hit an absolute dime of and a pass. Like that, that's how they got Rodrigo or right. or or Vinny, and then you know it's one v one. But I think you've got to be able to to you got to win in the midfield, and that's so hard to do. But I thought City did a pretty good job at uh, the Bernabeu with that. And I'm interested to see how City set up to – how they they tweak things. Because, of course, you know, both teams are going to tweak things. You know, it's like, okay, this worked. Yeah, this didn't. Let's not do that. It, and everybody's going to find their weakness. So how do they respond? And I think that's the greatest thing about the semifinals with, you know, Ancelotti and Pep. I mean, you're talking about two tactical masters. So who gets it right? I would I would lean towards Pep getting it right because, you know, we talked about this many pods ago when he started tinkering. And we're like, why is he tinkering? Why is he? Well, this is why. He's got all these other ideas like, oh, well, you know, in this case, Ancelotti, Ancelotti does this. Well, I'm going to counter like this, you know. And and I think that that in itself is going to help City win this and, and get to the final. I think they win like two one. I put money on Madrid, boy. What's your score, X? I know these won't count towards the league to the predictions. No, I, I have the aggregate going two one. I think Madrid's just going to take one away one at the Etihad, oh. and it's going to be goals. it's going to be a grind game. It's going to take Vinny. It's going to take Rodrigo. It's going to take Modric. Someone's hitting a banger. It's a glory goal, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle. I see th- I see it being a grind. I don't see either one of them breaking away with it. Like I don't see it being three four like it was in no. previous years. I see this being so close, where the one goal really matters. And we saw it at we saw it in Madrid. And you know it's just both goals are wonder goals. Either I team could have walked out of there. I think there'll be goals. Benzema, I think both, I think both Benzema teams won't be as rusty. He looked a little rusty. He looked a little off of it. He won't be off it. Not in not in the do or die situation. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it might be like a like a three two. It might it might be like a 
But I can't call a winner. Like I have no idea. Like I money on Madrid, man. It's so close. You're crazy. I did. You're had crazy. better odds or had lesser odds, so you win more money. Yeah, you're crazy. Uh, I would not put money on either because as soon as I convince myself that this, this good extra time. The, death, the death robots at City are just unstoppable. It's like <laughs> yeah. Benzema Benzema comes up with the kryptonite. So it's like that's what happened a lot. History loves to repeat itself, tough, man. Tough to call. Um I'm gonna go out on a limb though. Holland hat trick. Mm. Yo, if they paid all that money and what invested all this Holland hat trick. What he came to do, we're literally gonna see Molinure come flying into the stadium and he's gonna grab it and do a fly around flying, he's gonna be a flying like, scissor oh, kick first goal straight yeah. from the pk mark yep <laughs> all seven Unmarked. all seven fans of the empty hat are gonna lose their mind <laughs> yep 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 the, the, the glass be away? too tall for real madrid it Ooh. might be yeah it we might. Can check that field Modric, pattern. Are gonna, the, the grass will be taller than modric so <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lewis. Does this go to extra time? Does this go to extra time? Does it go to extra time? Good question. No, What's the I score? think it does. I think City wins two one. Uh, I think they're they're going to be more open at home. I just you, you can see you've seen in every Champions League leg that they've been open. Hell, when they play anybody at home, they're they're way more open. I think you see substitutes happen in this game. I think they're going to play a lot more free because. At the end of the day, and we're going to be absolutely honest, there's nothing to lose. There's literally nothing to lose. Either either you go out in a blaze of glory or you whimper. And there's no way this team that was put together for this moment, it, it, it doesn't go and try to get goals. So I think it's a 2-1 game. I think it's, it's – it's, they're going to be shots. I think they're going to be – I think the keepers are going to be busy. I think the keepers are going to be like – you're going to be like wowed by the keepers. Um uh, but I think I think this is um, if Avengers in, in, in uh, Endgame. We're, nice. We're going for the head. Yeah. And you know, well, we had Fat Thor for a little while. Fat Thor is now normal Thor because he did his training, and now he's ready. And Iron Man, you know, he's back, and he has ginger hair instead of a ginger a uniform. <laughs> and, and you know, Captain Gunduan is you know the clean cut guy, and we're we're gonna just do what we need to do, and we just yeah, I think two one uh, Real Madrid it, they they are a Galactico for a reason, and yeah. I, I, all the respect in the world, but I, I think they they that city goes through to the final. Well, sure. it's sort of like what I said about Arsenal and the and Brighton in the previous segment. You know that moment where you you have it sting, you know, and it just hurts. You know, City went through that moment last year, and now it's on their stage to finish it off. And that's where you see the growth of a team. Like, how do they handle that situation again? If they get it. Some teams don't get that situation again. City's going to get it, and they've got, they've got the, the ace in the hole in, in Holland that they didn't have last year. And this is why I said – Endgame instead of Infinity War because Infinity War, Thanos last won year. and that was last year, and, and it was too year. late. He should have went for the head. And we didn't. We didn't. Yep. We could have beat them. We didn't go for the head. We could have scored more in that first leg. And yep. we, this time we know where to go. Well, chop his head off. If you're out there hoping that Thor can go for the head this time and defeat. Thanos and the Galacticos from Madrid. Go ahead and get the likes up. Subscribe to the channel and get that notification bell on. Our reaction to this will be coming very soon after.